National Geographic Kids Seed to Plant Written by Kristen Baird Rattini What is a plant? A plant is a living thing. It stays in one place, but it grows and changes just like you. Plants can be big or small. Some have flowers. Others also grow fruit. Trees are plants too. Plants are a big part of our world. Farmers grow fruits and vegetables. These plants give us food. Some plants can be used to make clothing. Your t-shirt is made from cotton plants. Other plants are cozy homes for animals. Parts of a plant. You can use your body to remember the parts of a plant. Arms are like leaves. Your body is like a stem. Feet are like roots. Roots hold the plant in the ground. The stem helps the plant stand up tall. Leaves soak up the sunlight. How does a plant begin? Let's dig in. Most plants start as a seed. The seed splits open. A shoot pushes out. This is called germination. A new plant is beginning. A seedling starts to grow. Roots reach down into the soil. A stem pushes up into the air. A plant grows. Just like you, a plant grows bigger and bigger. The roots spread out and down into the soil. The stem gets thicker and stronger. More leaves and branches grow. What do plants need? Plants need these things in order to grow. Soil, water, food, sunlight, air, space. Water and some food come from the soil. The roots soak them up. Sunlight and air enter through the leaves. Plants use them to make more food. Plants also need space to grow. How does a flower ride a bike? With its petals. Six fun plant facts. This palm tree seed can weigh as much as a fourth grader. It's the heaviest seed in the world. Two, scrub a dub in the tub. Plants are used in many soaps and shampoos. Three, the paper for this book was made from trees. One sunflower can make as many as 1,000 seeds. Five, bamboo grows the fastest of any plant. It can grow as tall as a three-year-old kid in one day. Six, the tallest living tree is taller than the Statue of Liberty in New York, USA. Flowers bloom. Many plants grow flowers. They start as a bump called a bud. The bud slowly opens. Petals gently unfold. Surprise, it's a flower. What did one flower say to another? Hi, bud. Flowers make a sticky powder called pollen. Pollen sticks to birds and bees when they fly from flower to flower. Then the pollen rubs off on other flowers. This is called pollination. It helps flowers make seeds. Seeds. Plants keep seeds in different places. Many plants grow a case around the seeds. The case is called a pod. Peas and maple tree seeds grow in pods. Orange seeds are different. Their seeds are on the inside, but strawberry seeds are on the outside. Now the seeds take a trip. Some float on the wind. Others are carried away by animals. The seeds fall to the ground. Soon they sprout or germinate. A new plant begins. A squirrel holds a large seed. Dandelion seeds scatter in the wind. Pass the plants, please. People and animals eat plants to stay healthy. How many plants did you eat today? A panda eats a bamboo plant. What in the world? These pictures show close-up views of things in this book. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the pictures. Hint. This opens into a flower. Hint. This part of a plant takes in sunlight and air. Germination. The sprouting of a new plant from a seed. Pollination. The moving of pollen from one flower to another. This makes seeds grow. Seedling. A young plant. Soil. The top layer of earth which plants grow in. Thank you for joining Mrs. Lindsay for National Geographic Kids Seed to Plant. Written by Kristen Baird Rattini. 
I can't wait to go on another book adventure. Come back to Mrs. Lindsay's Book Nook, where everyone is a reader. Be sure to subscribe. See you next time, readers.